This is a training session regarding importing setup information from Intuit's QuickBooks software. A system software can easily import this information, which includes employees, customers, vendors, inventory items, and general ledger accounts. In order to export the information from QuickBooks, first select Utilities from the File menu. Now select Export. QuickBooks will export one data file that includes all information specified here. We'll check the boxes for Chart of Accounts, Customer List, Vendor List, Employee List, and Item List. Then click the OK button. Now QuickBooks asks for a destination file name for the exported file. We'll place the file in our temporary folder and call it qbinfo.iif. Now we'll move to our A system software and import the information contained in the QuickBooks export file. To begin the import, we select Import from QuickBooks from the Setup menu. The following window is displayed. We need to specify the file name we wish to import. We'll pick the qbinfo.iif file we just exported a moment ago. After we have specified the correct file name, we click the Preview button and all the customers, vendors, employees, and items from the export file are displayed in the list box here. If the chart of accounts was exported, the second tab will be enabled and a list of all the QuickBooks accounts will appear on this tab. Now back to the first tab. At this point, we can remove any entries we don't want to import. Once we're certain these are the records we want, we simply click the Import button. The system will quickly convert the entries and indicate how many were imported here. Before we can import the chart of accounts, A system software must know what account numbers will be used. When the Preview button was pressed, the accounting program interpreted the chart of accounts from QuickBooks and assigned a GL account number to each account. If you wish, you may change the numbering of the accounts at this point before importing the accounts permanently into A system software. Click the Change button and use the entry fields on this screen to either select an existing account or specify the attributes of the new account to be created. Once you have finished your entries, click the OK button. Once all accounts have been reviewed and modified, click the Import button. The system will add all these accounts to the chart of accounts. Keep in mind that this import process will not automatically design a financial statement using the new accounts. This must be done by selecting Design Financials from the General Ledger menu. For more information regarding this process, review the training session titled Designing Financial Statements. Now we can check our work by browsing a couple of the data files. Here is the customer file with the new customers included. Just double click on one of them and notice that all the information from QuickBooks has been replicated here. Here is the chart of accounts with the new accounts included. Double click on one of them and notice that all the QuickBooks information has been kept intact. This ends this training session on importing setup information.